All right, Pisces, the overall love energy between you and the person that you are dealing with is the Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So you could be in a situation with someone where it was super, super passionate, and then all of a sudden it just ended. Either you chose to ghost them or they chose to ghost you or just a falling out happened between the two of you. And that passion just went cold. Everything about it went cold and it went cold very, very quickly. Um, I am saying that there might be a reconciliation on your hands if you're in a no contact situation, but I am seeing that for a lot of you, either they built themselves back up or you built yourself back up. And now they're thinking about coming back in, offering you love. But somebody here is kind of not, recept not all that receptive to that love. Someone here is kind of just like, mm, I see your cup but I'm not sure if I want to drink from your cup anymore. All right, your energy towards this person is the Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So you could be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay, with the Four of Wands. But this is letting me know that this is someone who you may still be talking to. You may, they still might be in the background. Like they might text you from time to time and you'll respond or you'll talk to them or see them occasionally. But you're so, you're keeping your options open. Your energy towards them is like non-committal. You're not committing to them. You're not accepting them back in. You're keeping your options open. And, you know, the communication just isn't the way that it used to be, mainly because you know, you're just, un, you might be uninterested. Yeah. You still feel a very strong connection to this person with the lover's card could be connecting with a Gemini. But at the same time, you view this person as too dramatic. There's too much drama here. Honestly, there might have been multiple people involved in this situation. But at the end of the day, this person, you feel as though they brought unnecessary drama into your life or just wasn't the person that you thought that they were when you needed them you know what i mean with the temperance card you do think about reconciling with this person um and it might just be because you have a lot of history with this person and you don't want to you just don't want to waste it a part of you doesn't want to waste it but at the same time a part of you does want to protect your energy with the nine of wands you have a lot of fire here so you could be connecting with a fire sign again i said or sagittarius with the temperance but fire is heavy here so you're in this energy of kind of fluctuating between still feeling this tie to them, keeping your options open, allowing them to communicate with you or you talking about them in some capacity or talking to them in some capacity, but feeling like they're too dramatic, way too many people. You might have, might have to fight for their attention, like or they didn't give you the attention that you felt you deserved and you feel this need to actually protect your energy their energy towards you is the queen of pentacles and the three of swords so this is someone who still feels passionate towards you they may want to put down roots with you and actually be with you but they're in this state of feeling very hurt right now still feeling those sores that even if they did you wrong this person is actually hurt as well i mean there are always two sides to every story and of course everybody in the situation tends to think that their side is the right side okay this is someone who is trying to turn their back towards this and honestly move past it but this could also indicate transformation so when we get deeper into the reading we'll discuss if it's they're them trying to let go fully or transform the situation into something better than it is now. Like actually reconcile and create something beautiful with you now that they couldn't do before or get back to that beauty. Because I do see here that there was beauty with the Four of Wands, okay? With the World card, this lets me know they do want closure. Okay, closure or to complete a cycle. They feel like something with you is just unfinished in some capacity, all right? Let's see, looking into, oh, let's look at your Oracle cards. Before we get into that, play hard, spiritual acceptance, getting to know each other. So, who you could be, like, if you were to forgive each other, you would have to get to know each other all over again in order for this to work. 
but someone here was really prideful and I feel as though either you were taken for granted or they took you like or you took them for granted all right looking into how they feel about you the empress so that's libra energy they feel a very deep love for you as much as they have this hurt and in their and they might be trying to walk away from it so they still have love here they still have a lot of deep deep love like everlasting love i feel like this might be someone who loves you for the end till the end of time like even if you guys decide to marry other people and have kids with other people like they're still going to think about you and what if you know what i mean like this might be someone who you're in contact with just because of history and they'll always be wondering like what if you know me and pisces ended up together and it actually worked out they have serious serious love here for you and I feel as though they might want to transform the situation and get back on track, get back, you know, get you to put your guard down, you know, prove to you that they are worthy of you actually putting your guards down and allowing them in with this Ace of Cups, you know, taking their love, drinking from their cup. All right. How, how do you, mm, how do you feel? Okay. So you, you still have passion here. All right. You still have a lot of passion here as well. Oh, you still have a lot of passion. What happened? What, what actually happened between... Okay, so someone here, I do feel like someone here was taken for granted. Like it was just a, oh, you'll always be around situation. And they didn't put in a lot of work and the situation got really heavy to somebody and they walked away. It might have just gotten very overwhelming and somebody decided to walk away here. Okay, but you both still love each other. There's still love here from both sides. Still passion, still love. Look at that. That is beautiful. Still passion, still love. I love that. Um, I really do. The sun card could be connecting with a Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo with the Ten of Pentacles. But you're mirroring their feelings. So you still both really freaking love each other. And I think that they want to transform the situation. There might have been some ego problems here. Like somebody was just a little bit too selfish. Um, and I just feel taken for granted. I feel as though someone here was really, really taken for granted. Uh, okay. If you're in a no contact situation, why is there no communication from you, Pisces? You're deciding whether or not you want to talk to them. So you're still up in the air. You haven't really made a decision, but you you also might be juggling a lot. You might be juggling two different people. Like I said, you're keeping your options open. So you might be dating someone else, to be honest with you, especially with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So you might have started something with someone else. And this past person is still in your energy. And that's what's causing you to kind of not reach out to them at this moment. You could also be... Um, just focused on your coins at the same time. Why is there no communication from them? Ooh, okay. The Two of Cups in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is someone who just felt like every it was always up and down with you. Nothing was ever really stable. What goes up must come down. It was like a roller coaster ride between the two of you. And they feel uh, like the connection has been lost with the two of cups in reverse. So whatever you once had was lost and destroyed. With the death card here, I do see that they feel this definite loss. And they're trying to accept the fact that the relationship that they had with you before is lost. But they're trying to figure out a way to start a brand new relationship with you on the right foot. And that's just what I'm feeling here, that they are trying to do that. But let's see, what does this person want? The star card. Mm, they still feel so much sexual attraction towards you. Why the star card? Why the star card? 
So this person is really, really restless over you and they want to come back in and pour into this. It's a situation where they're just, they can't stop thinking about you. Like I said, you're constantly on their mind, even if you're in communication with them. They freaking, this person really, really loves you. And I feel as though the love is mutual. It's just, you guys are going to have to figure out how to come back together and have a conversation. A conversation has to be had here in order for this to move forward. But they're reminiscing about the past, about the good times, and they still feel a deep nurturing love for you, a deep, deep care for you. And you feel the same for them. This might have just been someone you had a really long history with or just the situation between the two of you. You guys just have a soul tie together and it just is what it is. Okay, what do you want? I do think that someone here does view the situation as toxic at times, but you're they're willing to overlook that. What do you want? Please. So a part of you wants to move on. Um, you're kind of done fighting with the Five of Swords, and then you have the Page of Wands. So there's still there's still passion here, but I feel as though you're trying to go towards what actually makes you happy, and you know turn your back and focus your energy elsewhere. I do think you're in this state of feeling like it's just too much work, and if anything were to happen, you're just sitting and waiting for them to do the work for you. Facts, okay. Yeah, I just think you're done fighting for it. You might have been wronged, or even if you were the one who wronged them, you're choosing to just kind of let them let them make that first move. And you're just sitting pretty, literally. Look at that, sitting pretty. <laughs> All right, let's see. For those of you who are single and just focused on new love, any new love coming in for Pisces, looking into new love. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this situation is still way too fresh in your, yeah, it's way too fresh in your energy field. So someone here from your past is still holding very tightly to you. So I feel as though new love for you is going to be like old, old love renewed. So it would be someone from your past, like this person coming in and renewing that love. Otherwise... You would definitely have to completely walk away from this of what you're holding on to, which is, you know, this energy of this past person. You'd have to let them let you go as well. And then new love would be able to come into your life, but not until then. It's just this is way too fresh and still very present in your energy. So once that's gone, you'll be able to do it. To accept in new love, the universe will bring you new love. Otherwise, this love is ready to be renewed into something better. But there's going to have to be forgiveness. And you're going to have to get to know each other all over again. Like, clean clean that fucking slate, okay? What's stopping this connection from moving forward? Nothing. They're coming back in. The Knight of Swords. They're coming back in. Honestly, if there is anything that I would say is stopping it, it's the fact that one person here is not willing to take action. But I do see this person trying to come back in. It might be slow moving at first and then it'll pick up. But this person does want to come back in very, very fast. Okay. And be committed with you and show you that, you know, they can be that person. You know, everybody changes and People go through cycles where they're they're not who you want and they're not who you expect them to be. But sometimes that absence wakes people up and they are able to change and become exactly who they were always meant to be. So definitely give this person a chance. What's the most likely outcome between you and this person? I see. What's the most likely outcome? The Three of Cups, the Justice card. I do see that you are going to get what you deserve from this person yeah you're gonna get what you deserve from this person they're gonna give you what you deserve because if you felt undervalued or you you felt taken for granted in the past that's not going to be an issue now they are going to give you exactly what you deserve they're going to meet you on your throne <sighs> i love you they're gonna they're gonna pour into you for sure. And they're going to celebrate you the way you deserve to be celebrated. 
This person's thinking long term, and it's just, you know, you're going to have to let the ashes fall where they may and leave the past in the past so that this can come in. Um, not this card specifically, but like this can come in. This love, the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to be slow, but all this needs is just action. And it's going to be awkward at first, of course, whenever you start talking to an ex again or someone from your past. It's awkward at first. And then once you move past that awkward phase, you can find comfortability. And then that comfortability turns to fruitfulness. And that fruitfulness turns to stability and love and loyalty. And that's exactly what this person wants with you all right we just got to get out of that stagnancy and move into action all right move into action and that action will turn into stability all right that's all i have for my pisces family make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already thank you so so much for watching i love you stay safe balanced and healthy and as always I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.